The question that's been circulating is the, the trade of Josh Dobbs. Um, uh, Andrew Berry addressed that this morning as well. In terms of, um, you know, trading Josh, like, you know, obviously we had a high opinion of Josh. You know, he's been here, he had been here for, for you know, two seasons. Um, I've often talked up here about the general manager's role having a, uh, a foot in the present and a foot in the future. Um, and certainly, you know, that consideration in that transaction, um, you know, has, you know, has elements of that. Um, thought it was the best decision. We, we're really excited to, to work with, um, to work with Dorian um, and see him progress and, and, and develop. Um, but thought it was the right move, um, you know, thought it was the right move for the organization, both short and long term. And, and the only thing that I would say is it doesn't match with what you did with defensive line and you know Shelby Harris you brought in you brought in Rodney McLeod you, you, you brought in Marquise Goodwin and I get it quarterbacks a different position but when you bring in all those veterans and you're relying on a rookie fifth round pick it just doesn't seem to match the philosophy well but here's the thing though Dave who looked better all summer long Dorian Thompson Robinson looked all better all summer long over Josh Dobbs who had more experience physically playing football over the last five years? Dorian Thompson Robinson had an elite, lengthy career as a starting quarterback at UCLA. Josh Dobbs was out of the league at times. Um, you know, the Browns obviously brought him in. He never took it down for them last year. He played a little bit for Tennessee. It was okay, I guess. Um, the Browns also replaced Josh Dobbs with P.J. Walker, who has 15 career NFL starts under his belt, which is a lot more than Josh Dobbs. That's a lot of Monday morning quarterbacking right there by fans. You know, why did you trace? First things first, no team expects to be a successful football team if they've got to go away from their number one quarterback. You know, maybe if you have a rookie and a veteran battling out, you don't know who your number one is currently. But if you know who your number one is currently, you're not going to win a lot of football games when that guy is out. Um, you got something for Josh Jobs. And I think, you know, the Browns deserve credit for that because, you know, Josh Jobs didn't, you know, nobody else was running after Josh Jobs last year when he played for Tennessee. You know, did a couple things, ended up playing in a playoff game. Nobody else went chasing after Josh Dobbs. The Browns were able to bring him back due to the relationship, obviously, with the same quarterback coach, the relationship he'd already had with Deshaun Watson. And, you know, I was one over the summer that said, look, if it's going to come down to somebody taking reps, I'd rather see what you got in Dorian Thompson-Robinson, you know, because uh, we're not sure what Josh Dobbs is. Is he holding his own right now for the Arizona Cardinals? Yeah. Is he maybe, you know, screwing up some plans for them for a team that probably wants to go winless this season? Probably as well. Um, but, you know, that, that that's just going way, way too much. And I'm going to tell you right now, it could have been, you know, Josh Dobbs. It could have been any backup quarterback that Cleveland Browns have had over the years. Nobody was making up the fact that, you know, 25 points. The Browns lost 28 to three. Josh Dobbs was not going to make the difference in that game.